I work in an office that has some Windows-based computers, some Linux-based computers. I wanted yes. to be able to open on my computer um, using the new uh, Office Online tool. Okay. I wanted to be able to open... Or some tool. Or some tool. Um, open documents on my computer so that the format wouldn't be all mixed, mashed up the way it is when I just open it in Libre. Right, okay. Yes. I have that issue all the time. <clears throat> right, oh, good. Then yeah. this will help you. Oh, phew. Okay, yeah, so we looked at... Because one of my laptops is all, it's all LibreOffice. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Linux-based. And so often I get Word files sent, and I open them up, and I'm like, oh, formatting! Mm. Right. And that's a tough thing, because that can be any number of things. Fonts that yes. the user used, and they didn't tag the file. So when you open it, you don't have the same fonts, and so it's all messed up. So mm -hmm. you've got to figure out what fonts they used and install those fonts in yes. order to open them properly. Sometimes people don't realize that, hey, if I create a file on my computer, it's not going to translate when you send it over. So there's no solution to that beyond fixing the file. Correct. Plain and simple. So that's not, a, that's not a LibreOffice problem. No, but that's fine if it's one page. Right. If you get something that's, say, oh, 50 sure. pages, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> but typically, with a document, it's going to be like uh, a generic font that you yeah. can substitute another serif font or something like that. Wingdings. <laughs> yeah, for the whole document. <laughs> That's right. It's a script. Um, but so the, the problem lies in the fact that files are not tagged, so the fonts are not in included with the file. You have to have that font installed. That's one right. good example. Um, that's why PDFs are so popular. Mm -hmm. right. Portable okay. document format. So when Adobe, um, uh, was it, yeah, I guess it was Adobe that, that did PDF. And they, they created a format that's not typically editable. Right. But it looks the same from computer to computer to computer. And that's why it's done so well on the web. Because it always opens the same. So if you create the document on your computer, mm -hmm. and then you export it to a PDF file, you can then send it to someone and they will be able to print it and it will always look perfect. Right. Yes. That's why we do PDF. That makes sense. If you then take that doc file or uh, uh, ODT file mm -hmm. and send them that file, they may be able to open it, but it's probably not going to look the same. It's going to look a little wonky. Mm -hmm. So understand the reasoning, the underlying problem that exists there. Mm -hmm. So I suggested why not look at Google Drive, Google Docs, yep. or now Microsoft Office Online, which is available for free. Mm -hmm. When did it go free? What's Microsoft doing? Go to cat5.tv slash msoffice. You'll be able to just sign in with your Skype account or you can create uh, mm -hmm. an account using your email address, really? whatever you want to do. Yeah. yeah. So let's take a quick look at oh. how this is going to translate. So I've created the world's easiest font using a Liberation Serif font, uh, easiest doc. So I'm, I've saved this as a doc X. You see the file name in the top left? Yes. So I just went file, save as, and I've saved it as Word format. So understand what I'm doing here is just demonstrating that it will work with doc files. Right. So I don't have to convert them or, or do anything fancy. I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just starting with this very, very basic doc file, okay? Save. So now, jumping back to my browser, I have Google Drive and I have Microsoft's OneDrive, which does provide free space up to a limit, just like Google Drive. Mm -hmm. And then you can pay if you want more space. Right. So remember last week, we took a look at this just really briefly on the fly. And we didn't really know how to open a file in MS Office Online because we, didn't, we couldn't find the connection. Right. I thought it might be OneDrive, but it was just putting me through this loop of click here, click here, click here. It turns out it's because when I created my account to be able to access MS Office Online, uh -huh. I didn't verify my email address. It sent me an email oh. that said, click here to verify your email address, and I didn't do that. That's why last week it was going through this loop of, you're not verified, you're not verified, you oh. can't, so I couldn't get in. Right. So okay. it was a little Makes bit sense. of a headache. So I clicked on the verify, and boom, lo and behold, now Office Online, so if I go cat5.tv slash msoffice, and I open Word, so there's Microsoft Word, it's free Office Online apps, click on Word, then at the bottom here, open from OneDrive. And now it just takes me to my OneDrive. So that's very similar to Google Drive. Right. right. So I'm going to show you both. So I'm going to go New, File Upload. Keep in mind, now I'm on Google Drive. So this is Google's product. We're going to look at both Google and Microsoft, OK? Because okay. both of these allow you to collaborate. On my desktop, 
I've got that file. It's going to be the only docx. There it is. Test local file. Upload to Google Docs. It sees the docx at the bottom right, and it's removed the file extension, and it's there. Now, go over to Microsoft's OneDrive, and let's see how we upload to this. Hmm, maybe over here? No. Not quite as intuitive, I find. Files. Oh, files? Ah, there we go. Documents? Okay. New? Upload. Upload. I created a folder called Sasha's Test Document. Ha, Never quite you. got there. Files. <laughs> Test local file. That's my doc file. Now, here it hasn't removed the docx extension. It's still docx. Okay. Back at Google, let's double click on that file. And it has opened that in my online editor called Google Docs. It also has Google Sheets for spreadsheets, and it will accept any format that you throw at it. Uh, but here you are in Google Docs. You notice that it's no longer the serif font. Mm -hmm. It's changed it to something called normal text. Right. Oh, so yes. again, it's going to change the formatting of some files because it's supplementing fonts and things like that. Right. So right. if you've got checkboxes that are actually a checkbox image from a font, mm -hmm. it's probably not going to translate. Right. So we need to make sure that those are uh, transferable. But what's neat about doing it this way is now, moving forward, I always have them online. So if I send it to somebody, I'm sending them the Google Doc. Right. They can go in, they can open it, and, and it's always going to be the same because right. it's still in Google Docs in the cloud. Jump back over to Microsoft's product. And let's see how this one handles it. I'm going to double click on the file. Looked like it was going to take a single, t single click. And there it is. Same thing. Now, it kept the font the same, which tells me that it's probably tying into my local fonts. So fonts that oh, are installed okay. on my computer itself, which definitely it looks like uh, that's what it's doing. That looks like kind of the default set for Linux okay. or for, for Microsoft Windows. I'm on Windows 10, pardon me. Um, so there you, there you have it. So it was able to open both. Now, where these products excel, Jeff, is file share. So now, Sasha, you want to be able to share this. And some yes. folks were joking, like, don't put information on here. Don't share this. It's not secure. Look at all the people who are going in and editing it. Well, I purposefully, during the demonstration, opened it up to the world right. and just let people at it. Right. Now, what you're going to do is, let's just say it, who is the email provider for your company? Is it Google? It is Google. It is Google. You go to Gmail yes, to open your email. That's true. Right? Do you use Gmail? Uh, I do. Yeah. yeah not so, for work, but yes. Okay. Well, in your instance, everybody in your office has access to a Gmail. Right. Because that's what they use. That's cool. Yes. So what you can do is you can just share it with your company. Exactly. Anyone at your company can open it at this file. Nobody else can. Right. That's how you can do it. So, and I can go as far as just setting up an email address if I wanted to go live at category5.tv. And then what do I want them to be able to do? They can edit, they can comment, or they can view. Mm -hmm. This is Google Docs. So with that, I can set up those permissions the way that right. I want them. Jumping over to um, the Microsoft product, how do we share here? I know that it's going to be available. There it is. Share. Share with people. No, I want to share with aliens. <laughs> Come on now. Live at category5.tv. What does it say? Recipients can edit. Recipients can only view. Okay. Ah, Recipients yes. don't need a Microsoft account. Recipients need to sign in with a mm. Microsoft account. So presumably that means that you could send it without the need for them to sign in. Mm -hmm. So that's an added level of kind of... Um, uh, that's an added level of authentication to ensure that they are who they say they are. Right. Mm -hmm. Because y y if someone else got a hold of the link, they wouldn't be able to open it. Right. right. So that's pretty cool. So I think both products could achieve what we want to do. Yes. Now, maybe this isn't for this demonstration, but what about loading an ODT? How does Word Online show it? How would it work with an ODT? So this is the default format. For so this. basically the question is, is there cross-compatibility between the products? Right. Because sometimes, you know, I might be sending an ODT to somebody right. and they don't have LibreOffice. Uh -huh. And is it going to load properly? So can I just take the same file and I'm going to change this to an ODF text document, which is ODT file extension. And I'm going to save this as Libre. 
just so that I have a distinction between them. Jump over here. Let's jump back to Google Drive and upload. Grab my LibreOffice. So this just demonstrates if they are compatible cross-program. Mm -hmm. right. So does Google Drive recognize ODT files? There's the Libre one. And that opened just fine. Yep. Now, interestingly enough, you can go File, Download As. So now if you need to actually send it to someone who doesn't have an internet account or something okay. like that, right. you can download it as DocX or right. ODT right. or Rich PDF? Type. You can do PDF. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So you don't have to buy like a PDF program. Plain text and zipped, HTML, EPUB. Um, over to the Microsoft product. Let's try the same test. Upload files and grab that file. That's the Libre ODT file and open. And there it is. Open okay. it. And again, single click on, uh, on the Word Online. And it looks oh. the same. Now, it warns, though, ODT documents, some compatibility issues could occur if you edit this document. Details. And it'll uh. go into some details. That's their way of saying, Word format's better. <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> Word's better than ODT. Right. That's just... It's funny. That's silly. But that's a Microsoft thing. That is. That's yeah. like... Okay. I was, I was doing some schoolwork over the weekend with a, one of my classmates where she asked me to edit some of her work. Mm -hmm. And so she works in Word mm -hmm. and I work in Google Docs. And so I, oh. so I could open it and it looked wonky, but I knew... Like, I wasn't editing her formatting. Okay, I knew, yeah. like, the wording was correct, right? right? So then I sent it back to her. She's like, I don't like the way your stuff looks. <laughs> huh. Well, then. So imagine this now. So pick your base yeah. and say, okay, I, I, you're already a Google user, so use Google Docs. Exactly. Uh, which is Google Drive. Drive.google.com is where you want to go to mm -hmm. sign in. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not a Google user, if you're really a Microsoft Office lover, um, then maybe the Microsoft Online is the way to go. Right. Yes. But both seem to offer similar functionality, um, and they give that collaborative uh, mm -hmm. nature. So my thought is, Sasha, so yeah, there's a little initial hurdle where some files, if you upload them, they may need to be reformatted. But once they are, now they are in the Google Docs format or the uh, Microsoft Office Online format, and you know that it's going to be compatible. Right. Uh, so that when someone else opens it, it's going to look the same on their computer. Excellent. So That's I just need to do idea. a couple of minutes work just... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think that'll work really well. Perfect.